unsolved. John Benet Ramsey case. The most controversial episode. Warning, viewer discretion is advised. This episode is about if John Bonet was molested prior to the night that she was murdered. So first we have this letter from the doctor, and I kind of recreated it, that states, My office treated John Bonet Ramsey from March 1993 through December 1996. Throughout this period, there has been absolutely no evidence of abuse of any kind. Signed, the doctor. Now the autopsy report, and this is the cover page. Under Roman numeral three, it says abrasion of the right cheek. Roman numeral four, abrasion of the right shoulder. Roman numeral five, abrasions of the lower leg and back. And Roman numeral six, abrasion of vaginal mucosa. And then at the bottom, I put this short definition for abrasion, the process of scraping something away. Now, one of the purposes of the autopsy is to point out things that are injuries. So if that uh, body part is normal, it might say unremarkable. There's nothing there that sticks out as an injury. Now in the autopsy, it mentions vaginal mucosa. And mucosa is the soft tissue that lines the body's canals. All of the sections contain vascular congestion and focal interstitial chronic inflammation. The smallest piece of tissue from the seven o'clock position of the vaginal wall hymen contains epithelial erosion with underlying capillary congestion. A small number of red blood cells is present on the eroded surface, as is befringement foreign material. Now the presence of the red blood cells seems to indicate that this was a past injury, but like the John Benet Ramsey case, everything is open to interpretation. Now in another section of the autopsy report, it goes into great detail about the condition of her body. And to me, it reads that she was assaulted that night. And you can read this for yourself. So what I gather from this section is that she did bleed a little bit. And so that might be why you have the um, blood drops on her underwear that were tested for the DNA. Now it was thought that John Bonet was wiped with a cloth or something, but there was no cloth found. And so it's hard to figure out anything about that. Now this news article entitled Autopsy Evidence Leaves Experts in Disagreement. Now the discussion was, was John Bonet molested in the past? And the one doctor said that poor hygiene can cause chronic inflammation. Some little girls don't wash themselves properly. But the autopsy mentions an abrasion with red blood cells. So who caused that? Now it's possible that John Bonet did because of the irritation from chronic inflammation. So the one thing that is clear she was either being molested or she was suffering from chronic inflammation from 
bedwetting and that kind of thing. Now, her doctor said that there was no evidence of abuse of any kind, yet she had this chronic inflammation. So that brings into question the doctor. But there is the possibility that this abuse, if it's abuse, started taking place after the last time the doctor examined John Benet. And that's kind of what I feel like, that this was some um, recent immoral behavior by an adult. Now, it's possible that it was caused by corporal punishment for John Benet wetting the bed by Patsy. I've witnessed someone change a diaper and they were kind of angry with the child and were wiping them real rigorously and in anger. And so Patsy might have been frustrated by John Bonet not really wetting the bed, but not growing up and being more mature and being an embarrassment to the family. Like if John Bonet went to somebody else's house, would she wet the bed there? Would she wet herself at one of her beauty pageants? I think this was something that might have angered her mother, Patsy. What I believe is John Ramsey just started molesting John Bonet in the few weeks prior to her death. And it wasn't severe. John was touching her inappropriately and she started to bleed. And at that age, John Bonet might have thought that she was dying. So she started screaming or crying or running to her mom for help. And that's why she was murdered. Now this DNA report from January 15th, 1997, only a few weeks after John Bonet's murder, wasn't available until just recently, a couple months ago. So there's something that I wanted to point out to you. It says, DNA profiles could not be developed from the sperm fractions from exhibits 23A or 23B, which are the semen stains from the black blanket. The DNA profiles from the epithelial fraction from exhibits 23A, 23B were consistent with John B. Ramsey, John Ramsey, not John Andrew Ramsey, or a mixture of John B. Ramsey and Patricia Ramsey. Now, I believe this is the blanket that was found in the suitcase. And so it had nothing to do with John Andrew. Now, the one thing that's clear in this DNA report is the first eight entries of the objects with the swabs, they all match the profile of John Bonet. And then the report says if the minor components are of a single individual, but that's the big question is how minor are those components? And could those be there from an innocent person that had nothing to do with this crime. Please subscribe. I want to fly like an eagle to the sea. Fly like an eagle, let my spirit carry me. Well, this ends this episode. And was it controversial? I don't know. I'll have to wait to see when I hear the comments. Anyway, I'll see you next weekend. Bye.